two um, tattoo poems, fairly recent. Uh, I wrote the one after I came home from a dinner party. Tattoos. He's sitting next to me at a dinner party, tattoos covering most of his body, rings through his eyebrow, upper lip, one tattoo crawling up his neck like a vine seeking sunlight. He's an abstract canvas, a poem, waiting for translation, leaving no chance for camouflage. If the time comes, he might want to change his mind on how he wants the world to see him. I've seen tattoos on old men, Rorschachs of who they once were, but he thinks he'll always be the way he is now, sitting next to me. In this particular uh, tattoo poem uh, was uh, is when I decided that tattoos are not for the young, tattoos are for the old, because they, there's not time for them to get all messed up and weird and, and blurry and all of that. So if you're going to get a tattoo, get it when you're old. So show us your tattoo. I, don't, I didn't get it yet, but it's going to be here. <laughs> Clamor on a warm winter day. He works the tidal mud, bent over, jeans slipping down, leaving a wide expanse of bare back facing the sun. Watching him dig for clams makes me want to have a Celtic spiral tattooed on the small of my back, that last untouched remnant of skin still free of flaws. <laughs> I can hide it too, so it's 